All right, guys, so last last video, we worked on immersive engineering, and we had a great time. We made our water mill and all of that. It's pretty dark out. Um, I went ahead, and I added a whole bunch of plants over here that we needed. I still got my handy torch automatic placer thing over here. That's why that just lit up. Uh, but I've just been kind of going around a little bit, trying to light up as much as I can. I've taken down quite a few of the big old trees over here. And so every once in a while, I just kind of run over. Oh, there's that in here. I did not know. That's cool. So in some of the trees, um, there are chests. That's a, that's a pretty cool feature. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. I've been using this ender sword just because the other sword. Okay, that was creepy. Not going to lie. Uh, we got an ore bag? <gasps> what? Oh, I thought we could hold ores. That wasn't that cool. Okay, so we got a crafting table pet. Oh, so it's like a mobile crafting table. That's pretty cool. Uh, so I want to tell you guys I've been using these baguettes. They're very simple to make. You take the wheat. Um, if we look at the recipe for these, you get the dough from two wheat into two two dough. And then you, you, you smelt that, and you get these baguettes. And they're actually pretty good. They give three hunger and three um, stamina. So that's pretty pretty awesome. I also added this little balcony out here. Uh, I'd like to have like a cool chair or something like that. We need to fix this up soon. Uh, I've also, I'm also going to do this, but I've been using these elder fences. And I really like the contrast it has. Uh, so we need to find some more of those. We have carrots, wheat, rice, uh, canola, coffee, flax seeds for string, and then sugarcane over here. So that's all I've been using for those guys. And if we look in my inventory, as you can see, I made a hammer. Very simple hammer. Um, you guys are wondering how I made that. I made it very carefully. Uh, but uh, just two of these... Uh, large plates, a hammerhead, and a tough tool rod. So very, very easy and simple to make. I just originally made it out of uh, pickaxe, or not pickaxe, but stone and wood, and then upgraded the uh, hammerhead to iron. And I also have this set up, which is really cool. So this is a clock. It, it uh, basically sends a redstone signal every once in a while, and it triggers this to start pouring. And then we have our casting table here. But if we go down here below, you can see that I have two item ducts, uh, yeah, with a server on one of them, so it's putting it into this chest. So this is automatic. I just throw my ores in here, and it automatically smelts them. But I do need to make a crescent hammer, so that way this lava can be automatically put into here when I smelt things up. So that's pretty cool. Now, why this isn't this isn't the most effective way to do this at this point, but it's uh, it's very simple. Uh, so after the copper goes away we can go ahead and throw the tin here these are all the ores that i've been getting from my hammer i just went down to bedrock basically i've been mining uh, we have 51 diamonds now a whole heck ton of redstone i've got fortune 2 on my pickaxe here from all the lapis uh this has got dual redstone on it if we look here uh so yeah it mines at 6.78 so this is awesome i've also got my uh maddock fully upgraded or not really fully upgraded but double redstone and this is where it's at. So we're almost up to Fortune 3, but we're not quite there yet. So, but we've made quite a bit of progress, and I'm very happy with it. So Unstable 3, okay. Um, I'm very happy with the amount of progress we've made. Uh, and this food source here, it's great, because you can just come over here. You just right-click all of your wheat. You're done. These things just automatically grow because of the, the coolness of it, I guess. And then we come over here. Very cool. Check this out. So just boom. There's 12, and you come over here to this, and you use your time in a bottle, and you make it smelt even faster, and look at that. We're getting all of the food. It's beautiful. And we don't have to eat so terribly anymore. Uh, but I do like these crates. I want to make a few of these small storage crates. So let's go ahead and check those out. Because uh, I want to have the, oops, I want to kind of have these around a little bit. Uh, so wooden casing, we do have a quite a few of these actually somewhere. Where are the wooden casing? Uh, I don't know if we have it in here. Oh, that reminds me. i got to show you guys my ship. So I backed up my world last night, and I loaded in this morning because I had done some mining last night, and I parked my ship in a different location, and it overwrote my other ship with this one. Uh, I don't know how that happened. But, yeah, we, we have more of these guys now, unfortunately. But our all of our commit controls and stuff like that are completely gone. Um, and then we lost the chests on this side. I don't know how those disappeared. Uh, but, yeah, so we have our wood casings here. But look at this. It's an ex identical one. So, technically, we duplicated these items somehow. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. 
I do not know. But I can go ahead and duplicate or put these in our system so we can start getting all the materials. It's great. Okay. So wooden casings, we got those. Go ahead and close this door. I want to put a pressure plate there. So this guy. This guy. So we need the wooden casings, oak wood, and then chesticles. All right, we have we have a little bit of wood here. Is this still a thing? This is still a thing. Okay. Put those back. We need... Actually, we need those back. Just kidding. Bam! All of it. And then the small guy. Oh, we're missing... We're missing the wood. Missing the wood. Where did all the wood go? I had a whole bunch. I used a whole bunch, but I also had a whole bunch. Oh, I turned it into the other thing. Okay. We can just use the birch wood. I don't think it matters. Okay. Yep, it doesn't matter. Cool. So we have six of these. I want to have one of these uh, outside. Uh, where's a good spot to put this? Right here, actually. That's pretty good. So this will be where all of our like seeds and stuff go. Uh, so we can go ahead and throw those in there. Nice. So this will just keep everything a little bit more organized. And then I like to have one down at the, the area... Where we're mining. I also want to show you guys. I found a chest down in a little like cave thing. This guy. It is a dread pirate chest, and this is like tier five stuff. Let's have a look. So look, it's like oh sorry, Rar rarity epic. There's I guess three possible locks in here, but the sapphire keys you need for it. These guys are stinking expensive. Let's just type in key. Look, this these are the keys you need to unlock it. And so you need to find a go two gold keys, and you need to get this treasure tool and then a sapphire. Not fun. We need two of those. Freaking nuts. All right, so I think our next goal should be getting this low-voltage capacitor because we do have lead now, which is awesome. We don't have a whole lot of it, but we still do have some of it. So that's good. Uh, so what we're, we're going to need for this is two copper as well. We should have copper in here. Yeah. Nice. Okay, and then two copper, let's see, three iron, and then two of the treated wood. Yep, okay, so low voltage capacitor, we're missing one redstone. We, I think we're running low on redstone, just kidding. All right, so low voltage capacitor, sweet. Let's go ahead and attach it, Ooh, that's right, we're running lower, to this guy. So we're going to have to break this, grab both of them, grab this guy. Uh, we'll put him here with this guy running into here like that. Is that not working? Do we have to do it on top? That would suck if we have to do it on top. Yeah, we have to do it on top. Okay. So this is what we're going to have to do. So we're getting, this is generating power. So this is our first battery. Yeah, baby. Okay. And let's see. We're also going to need some other things. Um, I would like to make the book for this, which is just one book and that. Okay. So one, two, three to make three paper and then the leather. Where, oh, where has my leather gone? There it is. That's the alloy smelter. Oh, books are different. Oh, that's tanned leather. Hmm, that's different than normal leather, huh? All right, so we have our engineer's manual. This is what we need for Tinker, or for immersive engineering. But it also looks like we did, oh, sweet, so introduction into that. Cool, so let's go ahead and run through these. So we're going to need an engineer's workbench. So let's go ahead and make one of these. So we're going to need some the treated wood i should have treated wood planks somewhere or sticks yeah so here 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 smack into my inventory and then we're gonna take these guys we're gonna make ourselves a freaking crafting table engineer's workbench baby that's what we wanted um i don't know what we're gonna do with this i think we should put this here i don't know where we're gonna put the furnace though um no, maybe, maybe we could pull this off. Boom, furnace out here. That's where, that's where it go. That's where it go now. Okay, so let's have a look. We did get a few of these. Bam. 
Steel. Nice. We got some steel and a self-repeating unlucky revolver drum. Okay, so we got the wood. Good. We also unlock something else, maybe? No. Okay, so after the wood... Um, oh, coke breaks. So let's actually go down here and grab the stuff out that we need. Okay. All right. Yep, there we go. Very unconventional way of doing that. Let's go ahead in here and grab our hammer. Engineer's hammer. Look at that. Bam. Cool. So we got the Coke oven. Let's have a look. Bam. Got it. And then the hammer. Bam. Got it. Conveyor belt. Charging station. High voltage. Low voltage. Uh, let's grab the low voltage. And then probably going to need to grab this guy. Nope. Didn't need to grab that guy. So that held the power. Thank goodness. Because... You know, I totally just wrecked that whole thing. I do want a water mill on each side of our um, our system. So and I think we have a, there's a much better way of doing it that we're not doing. So we'll have to look into that as well. All right, so we got that done. 50 more monies. Um, blast brick. Okay, so blaze powder. What is the best way to get blaze powder? Obviously, cracking skulls of the blaze. But we don't have access to that. Um, shoot. I wonder, are there? Let's see. If I go, if I grab a, a diamond and five sticks and I go happy face. Okay, so that is not a thing. What about a sp Bonner changer from actually additions. Okay, so we've used those before. Um, Restart. Oh, that will need that. Extra utility. Okay, so I don't think there's any like mo or spawn removers, unfortunately. What about a. No, no dollies. Um. Nope, I don't know how we're going to be able to get a blaze farm going. It would be cool to get one going, though. Because we have the conveyor belts for it. Yeah, look at that. We could totally get one going. But I need to find a way to get a farm or a spawner over here. We also do need to go to the nether, actually, so we can start to get some good materials. So let's go. I'm going to go ahead and focus on that. I'll get some obsidian and I'll be our bees. All right, so with the power of Vein Miner, we have 50 of these guys. We got them real quick. So we're just going to go ahead and go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Juan, two. Like so. Yeah, we got a portal. So we'll end up putting like a little bridge over to that, which I think will be pretty neat. But we need to grab some flint and steel real quick. I should have one somewhere. I had one somewhere. I don't think it's in any of these chests, so we can just go ahead and make another one. Bam. Okay, cool. All right, so let us go over to our area, and we're going to go ahead and... Go to the nether. Let's make sure we're fully eat, eaten up. Eat, that makes sense. I don't want to be eaten up. I want to be eaten down. That makes sense, right? Maybe. I'm actually really nervous about going to the nether in this. Because in the overworld, there's a heck ton of bad guys. But in the nether, I can't. Like Normally, that scares me. Okay, we're in. And... Yeah, I'm still scared. 
There seems, it feels weird. Like, uh, it doesn't feel normal. Let's go ahead and mark this on the waypoint with a waypoint. Portal. Okay. Yeah, portal is there. Good. So now we can see it from anywhere we go. Okay, so I do want to go ahead and upgrade the cobalt or something like that, but I think we need to do something else. What is this? Oh my gosh! That scared the freaking crap out of me. Are you mad? Are you mad, bro? Are you mad, bro? Are you mad, bro? Bro, don't be mad, bro. I oh, shoot. I Did I piss you off? Yep, they I pissed him off. Now, how have I done that? I blew myself up, and you're mad at me for this? Why, how could, how, how did, what is that? It's a blaze with a freaking problem. Woo. Ah, he's coming towards me. Ah. Go away. You're too swole. Gosh, you want some too? You want a freaking die clown? I'm gonna mine whatever the crap I'm gonna mine. And that guy won't leave me alone. He wants my bacon. It's a fire bat freaking heck. Get out of here. What? What are you? A sheep man. Sheep man. Help me. Help me, sheep man. He's gonna kill me. Well, let's see what this guy's got. Huh? What you got, buddy? Ah! I'm doing pushover. What are you doing? <sighs> okay, we can relax for a moment or two. Uh, I really want to come back here. I think these are diamonds. Is this diamond? No, it's not diamond. There is diamond ore here. Like there's, it looks like nether ores. Uh, nope, not going to do it. There's another one of those swole dudes. There's a blaze guy over there. Another swole guy. We really need to come back with something that can mine cobalt and ardite. Because I want to make manuleum. Because I think those make amazing swords. Oh. Must be a bomber creeper guy again. Yeah, look at this fool. Freaking annoying. He just throws TNT everywhere. Go away! No, don't throw that TNT at me, boy. Bro, you're going to get freaking wrecked. Yeah, got you on that slow... <gasps> ah, it's a ghost! Why do you sound like a dog? Rip dog. Ah, there's pigmen! Stay away. Soulstone, this will come in handy later. Let's go ahead and take that. Um, I didn't realize I was lighting up the whole place. Okay. You know, this sword it seems to be pretty good. And we're like, we're going to slice and dice this fool. Ah! Where'd he go? Freaking heck, man. We're almost dead. Oh my gosh, what is that? That's a big boy. That's what that is. I think that creeper ended up killing himself. Okay, so we need to come back after we have something to get some stuff. Oh my goodness, guys. I got three gunpowder while I was there. Or two gunpowder while I was there. So I could grab a third. Because I already had one. And look at this guy. What is up? Why are you red? Like, what does that do? Like, what do you do? He protect, he attack most importantly, he got your back, little turtle buddy. He explodes. Stop acting all surprised. Have you seen how much he looks like a landmine? Oh. You're an explodey turtle. Oh, I get it. How you doing, explodey turtle? You doing good? That's right. That's what I thought. All right, so I've gone ahead and made up a new ship here. As you can see, it looks a little different than our last one. We have three of the, the small storage units here. These have a lot of storage in them, so we should be okay. But our goal is to get up here to some of these slime islands because we need to get some night slime. 
and we're gonna go ahead and do that yet so hopefully these have some of the pink slime as you can see there's a little slime guy up there let's have a look though and we have any pink slime up here I don't think so dang um hmm Let's have a look over here. I know I might need to look into where to get some pink slime. But yeah, I don't think there's any there. Unfortunately. And there doesn't seem to be any here as well. There's a lot of slime, but not any pink slime. Dang. Hmm, all right, I guess we need to park this and I need to figure it out. Aha, I've discovered it, guys. So the purple slime trees, when you mine these guys, they have a chance of dropping the slime balls, which is what we need. So I'm going to keep doing this. And that didn't seem like that worked at all, unfortunately. So maybe we can get some. I did get some from over here, which was awesome. But we can go ahead and replant these guys, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's just see. Um, purple slime tree. Can we grab some of this dirt? We can. Are there bonsai trees in this? No, there are not. Okay, so we're just gonna have to plant them. Plant them back. Come back in a little bit. But this means that I can go from tree to tree, or from slime island, to slime island, and check them out. So that's pretty neato. If I would have missed, that would have been a long way back up. <laughs> Ooh, thank goodness. So, but I like this thing. I like the ship a lot. So I, I went ahead and moved the the power supply over there, and so we're going to have those like two of them over there. So that way, hopefully, that makes it faster. But I, I'd like if it does, I'm gonna I'm gonna add like all the way over here on each side, and that will be how we get places. So we'll have to see. Oh man, we're coming in hot. I don't actually know what's shooting me. The slime is. That was odd. That freaking guy was shooting me. Okay, let's see if we can break this one. Oop, I jumped. Nope, oh, nothing with that one. No, nothing with that one either. Dang. Why oh, you move fast on those guys? Go ahead and light this bad boy up. Cool thing. I really do like this torch placer. You just walk around, especially when you're caving. My gosh, does it work? Works like a freaking dream. But we can plant some of these trees here. All right. Thought I saw, yeah, pink trees over there. I don't know. That doesn't look like a slime one. It says slime balls have a chance to drop from slimy leaves of a purple slime tree. Is that what this is called? Purple slime sapling? Yeah, okay. So we do have two of these. We can, I think we can do it. So I, I did want to get one more. Excuse me. I'm not happy about this at all. A brand new ship is up there. I would like to have like a rescue ship planned. That's something I think we need to focus on, getting a rescue ship. So might as well just do that. Like a really tiny ship that's just for like getting the bigger one. And then that one you just, you, I think you just disassemble or something like I don't know how you do that. I don't know. Or we just get a jetpack. 
to go get our ship when we need, when we need it. That'd be a good idea. But all right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get this going. So we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna go ahead and throw in our pink slime. Yep, that works. And we're gonna go ahead and get some seared stone. Seared brick, uh, does this actually work? Yep, that works. And then some iron. We'll let these smelt up. Okay, so we have two ingots of night slime. We're going to go ahead and make a pickaxe. We might need... Uh, we need one more. Um, shoot. Okay, so I guess I have to go up and get my ship, which isn't fun because it's way the heck up there. All right, I guess... We begin this quest. All right, so we've got our ship back. We're at a different island now, and this one has two of these guys. So let's see if we can do this. Okay, nothing there. Yep, ah, there was another one. Perfect. Oh, look, we even got another one, too. Cool. So let's go ahead and plant these trees up here. Hopefully they grow back eventually. But now we have enough to get our night slime and get going. Yeah, I had to kill a few guys up here. I feel bad. Uh, so I'm just going to place this here and jump. Yeah, baby. Let's get on home. All right. We have our, our four ingots of the night slime. Let's go ahead and get this crafted up. We also need to think about getting a better handle for our pickaxe. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this here. Throw that there. Okay, so let's see. What do we add? Tool breaks, soft blocks that don't need the tool faster. But it doesn't give us... It just gives us more durability. And then we need night slime to repair it. Son of a nutcracker. Um, gives us a lot more durability. And does it improve our mining speed? It actually slows. Okay, so night slime isn't the way. All right, guys. So to mine the cobalt in the nether, we're going to go ahead and make a steel pickaxe head. Now, this should allow us to go ahead and mine it. I also can't seem to find my time in a bottle, which is saddening. But uh, let's go ahead and replace it. And, uh, hmm. Obsidian. Okay, guys, so I think our goal should be to make the Alumite so we can uh, go ahead and mine the cobalt, but we're going to need some materials. Then we need some iron. And I think, I think we should be able to make this work. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. All right, so we've got three ingots worth of alumite. So we're going to go ahead and make the pickaxe head. And hopefully this allows us to mine cobalt. Let's see here. It's actually taken a while, so I have some, I have some high hopes. I don't freaking know where I put my time in a bottle. This makes me sad. Okay, it's been snagged up. And let's go ahead and throw our pickaxe there. And cobalt! Yes, this allows us to do it. All right, let's freaking go. Let's go freaking go. Let's go get some aluminum. Not a like <laughs> cobalt. <laughs> Okay. All right, so these guys are still pretty salty. Okay, so there's that guy up there coming at me. Man. Ooh, what did you drop? I don't even know. Oh, boy. Bad doggo. Okay, so... Ah, freaking heck. It's a little guy. Okay, so let's mine it. Oh, shoot! Um, 
Yes, cobalt. All right, good. Freaking heck. Can we smack these? We can't. I don't know how I'm alive. Freaking heck, dude. You get freaking dead. Get that. Get died. Ugh. Not everything's on fire. It's pretty lit. Either my sword isn't as strong or these guys are stronger. Nice. What's the mining speed on this? 12.16. That's probably why. So cobalt is really good for tools. Ooh, we got nether lapis. Let's go ahead and grab this. Um, Freaking heck, dude. Freaking heck, dude. I can't, I can't match him. He's too fast. Oh, freaking heck. <laughs> Why? Why is it like that? Why? Ah. All right. So we have come back with 25 cobalt and 12 ardite. Uh, for, unfortunately, we can't have these both smelting at the same time in there because they will uh, merge together and create manuleum. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look at making a manuleum pickaxe head a Ardite pickaxe head and a Cobalt pickaxe head and seeing which ones are better. All right, guys, so I've decided to go with what I have here. Uh, each of these have uh, Cobalt heads. Uh, I've also got um, Ardite. I've got the Ardite binding and tool rod on this one. Uh, it's got this pet Petramar, whatever it's called. Uh, it says your stone loves stone. It literally wants to absorb it for durability. Uh, we'll see how that is. I haven't seen that working yet. I've also added cobalt head to our Maddox and a cobalt head and Ardite plating uh, for these two. Um, so mine's a lot faster, has a heck ton of durability. We'll eventually switch over to the tough tool rod, probably Ardite. Uh, but right now I'm just processing a bunch of that are a bunch of metals because I need more metals. I also want to show you guys the Y-Wing I've made. I've, that's what I'm calling it. It kind of looks like a Y-Wing from Star Wars. Uh, a little bit different, but kind of the same. Uh, I need to bring these back if I want to keep calling it that, I think. Uh, so let's grab this here. Okay, so this is what I got. Uh, I do plan on putting another one of these steam engines over here. And if these, if you add more of these and they make it faster, I don't know if they do yet. I need to look into that. But if that happens, I'm going to line all of these up. So we'll have a total of five steam engines going, and we'll have, like, um, fuel in each of them, obviously. And then these are the storage. Like, these have a heck ton of storage for how small they are. So that's why we got them. We still have this back here, and then we also have a kind of a, a cool-looking front. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, can I still make this? Yeah, cool. So that's fun. I do want to go ahead and take that on very soon, but, but, but I want to get a torch launcher first. I think if we go in there with a torch launcher, it's going to be like crazy easy. So let's go ahead. We're going to see if we can cheese that. So let's look at the torch launcher because there's some really good stuff in there. So we need block of coal, block of coal, two gold, and a piece of wood. Okay. We should have uh, coal. There we go. One, two. Awesome sauce. All right, and then wood. We need the wood. Yes, okay, so let's see if we can make this guy. Yeah, we sure can. And it does have durability. Okay, so let's go test this out. So durability is the amount of torches it has. I'm not going to lie. I am, like, stupid excited about this because pairing it up with a ship and we can launch torches in there. Like, let's freaking go. Okay. Get it up above. There we go. All right. So we're going to test this out. Uh, on a, one, ooh, whoa. On a couple floors. Uh, I'd like to get up to here. 
Where's that griffin type guy? Let me back up. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's just light these bad boys up. This isn't cheaty at all. This is so not cheaty. You can't tell me it's not cheaty. <laughs> this will probably get patched. It should anyway. This is extremely cheaty. And it's amazing. Ooh, that's a big guy. Okay, let's go on down. I keep lighting up in here. It should be like half of the mobs. If that. Okay. So uh, let's, uh, I guess let's take a crack at it, huh? That's weird. Okay. All right, let's go on through. Now the cool thing is, is we have the the combo, the wombo combo, of being able to place torches at our feet if it's too dark, and being able to light it up from afar. So pretty much. We've conquered this tower, and we didn't even go inside of it until, like, we conquered it. <laughs> okay, we're not going up there just yet, because he is salty. But let's check out all the gear... Oh, boy. Yeah. Dang. Okay. So I don't actually know how we're supposed to get the, the loot and stuff out of there, which kind of sucks. But we took on a tower, which is pretty neat. 
So we, that means we can take on a lot more. We Like, we basically cheese the crap out of that. So that's pretty easy. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video for today. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. I guess it's been Super Troll, and I'm out. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.